Good morning, happy Vlogmas day nine. Yes, nine. I gotta start checking that before I start because I keep looking silly not knowing the day, but just for a little state of the union, today is Tuesday, which if you've been watching me for a while, you know means that I have class today, just one class today, and that's it. <laughs> um, I'll also do some class work. I just finished, it's like 10, 15 right now, so kind of later in the morning. I just finished editing and uploading different Vlogmas video and also just kind of like organizing myself a little bit. So I finished that, I'll be doing classwork later, but my class is at noon today. It's my advanced clinical assessment and diagnosis class and this week we're working on mood disorders. So it's like major depressive disorder, bipolar disorder, type 1, type 2, those kinds of those kinds of mood disorders, you know? And then we're also worrying about anxiety disorders. So that it's kind of a lot all encompassed into this week, but I still have case studies I need to do for before noon, which I'll work on at some point. I'm getting my master of social work, which I'm assuming you know at this point, unless this is your first video, in which case, hello, welcome to Vlogmas. You can go watch the other ones to catch yourself up to this point if you would like, but overall, just feeling good. Happy to be here today. Happy to be able to chill today. Like this might be the vibes all day long. <laughs> I kind of think what my plan is, is to get up and go walk right now before, I can't decide, before class though, just to like get some activity, get some outside air, touch grass a little bit before the day really gets going at 10, 15 a.m. And I also think that could be helpful to kind of regulate my mind a little bit. So that's gonna be the plan. Got some good podcasts queued up. So I'm gonna listen to those. Really, walks have been like my number one mental health tip of the semester. And I haven't prioritized them in the past like two or so weeks. And then this week I was like, I will be walking again. Those were so good. Those were transformative. And so this is me prioritizing them, even though I want to just stay on the couch and be cozy. <laughs> So much colder outside than I was expecting, which like after I started walking, I did warm up, like it was fine, but quite cold. It actually feels like December out there. Right now I'm getting ready to do my, well, I was gonna do the case studies, but there's like 10 files in here. So I'm not, I'm not sure actually what I'm supposed to do, but I have 38 minutes till class, so I'll figure it out. Like I said, it's mood disorders this week, which is like depression, bipolar. We're also doing anxiety. We also might be touching on obsessive compulsive disorders a little bit, but I need to figure out what I'm even supposed to do. Cause there's so, look, all of those. Or can you see my finger? Key. All of these could be it. So I don't know, we'll see. Class was good. It was very good. I feel like I just look like a little butt cheek today. I'm sorry. I just didn't want to get ready for the day. No, class was good. It was our week seven out of eight. So next week is my last week of classes for the semester, which I don't know in my head, like I'm still like starting grad school. Like I think if someone were to ask me, I'd be like, oh yeah, like I'm starting my MSW program. <laughs> And I'm almost a solid halfway done. Like I'm 50% of an MSW right now. It's crazy, it's crazy. Yeah, class is pretty nondescript though. We just kind of like go through the case studies, but then like in doing so, talk more in depth about the different disorders that we're talking about. And then the work that I have to do for my other class, which is on Thursday night, is suicide risk among like specific populations. And so it's just kind of going into like um, veterans, the LGBTQIA plus community, incarcerated individuals. I can't remember the other ones that we're talking about right now, but just like specific populations that have higher suicide risks. That's who we're talking about this week. So I haven't done really the work for that yet. So I'll see what they say about it. But since I just had that thought about being halfway done with grad school, I don't know if I'll be ever okay. Again. Oh, you know what I do have today? I have a call with my advisor at four. I have my phone, so we're good now. Um, And last time that I had a call with her, I totally forgot that I had a call with her and my phone was on do not disturb. And so I just totally missed it. And I called her back like 10 minutes later and was like, I'm sorry, Um, <laughs> no excuse. But I don't even know what we're gonna talk about because like I've already registered for classes for next semester. I'm all good to go. Like I registered for the right one. So I'll be able to graduate. <sighs> So I feel like our call is just gonna be like, you doing okay? And I'm gonna be like, yeah. And she'll be like, okay, great. <laughs> 
that's my prediction of the call. I'll let you know after if it ends up being exactly that. The other things I need to do today, work out at my little gym right there. And I think I'm just gonna like put on Gilmore Girls or YouTube or something and do the random moves that come to me. I don't think I've mentioned yet this video how my gym is closed. So there it is, just so we can check off that box. Remember how my gym is closed? I walked by it today whenever I went on my walk because I just wanted to see like what was happening inside. All of the equipment is out. So RIP that equipment, I guess. And everything that's in there, like they don't have anything new in there yet. It's all just like construction stuff. And they totally took out the whole floor, like of the actual tiny little gym part itself. Like the part that you'd seen in videos and stuff whenever I video myself in the gym. They took out all of the floor from that. And then also like the little hallways on either side that like go like to the bathroom or go upstairs or whatever. All of that flooring is gone too. So I think the like building as a whole is getting renovated. Like not just that little gym room. And it's not just like switching out the equipment since the whole floor is gone. Like there was a guy like drilling into the floor. So <laughs> my guess is that it'll probably be ready whenever like I get back in January for semester number two, but I'll just be little, little shrimpy, not lift heavy girl until then. Unless I ever go through the effort of finding the other gym. If you have missed a couple Vlogmas days, there's another gym somewhere in the vicinity that's like under the same apartment company. And so I could go there. I just don't know where it is. <laughs> And I've been told where it is. Zach has told me where it is maybe three times. So I hope he doesn't roll his eyes at me when he's watching this video. I just haven't gone through the effort of physically walking there and getting there and figuring it out because I don't like trying new things. So that's the update on the gym situation. I have the call with my advisor. I'm so nervous I'm going to miss it again. Okay, I'm not on do not disturb. Check me on that. I'm not on do not disturb. 3.57. It's supposed to be at 4. What else do I have for you? I think at one point. Oh, I need to make a tenderloin too. I'm going to do that after the call. Hello. Okay, I feel like the call went really well. I feel like I'm an easy advisee and maybe I'm just not self-aware, but I feel like I'm pretty easy because like really the call is like, are you doing fine? Yeah, do you need any extra support? No, not really. <laughs> I feel like I don't need much. Like I said, I already registered. So like I already have my classes. In an undergrad, that's like what we did advising for. Whereas this one, it's more, I don't know. I guess if I was struggling, maybe it would be nice to have. But I don't really know like what she can do. But yeah, good call. Talk to her again like early February. And it'll probably be the exact same thing of, are you good? Yep. <laughs> At least, fingers crossed, it will be. Um, but I also know that I've just kind of gotten lucky, like, for instance, with my internship. Like, nothing is going poorly there. Like, I have good relationships with the people. Like, I don't need help advocating for myself because, like, no one is putting in, me in a position where I need to. Whereas I know that, like, some other students, sometimes that's not um, as good of an environment for them. Or other students have, like, things put down with professors that, just, that they just need a little extra help with. So I guess, like, that's what they're there for. I just haven't, like, experienced that myself. I'm making a mint tea latte right now because I did that in like September whenever I had a really bad cold was the first time I did that and it was absolutely delicious and I made one again last night for the first time in a very long time and so now I'm doing it again. I made that because he asked for it. A, a tenderloin that's back there. Um, which I technically could have for dinner as well. It just sometimes, like I'm not vegetarian and I'm not like meat adverse necessarily, but sometimes when I see uncooked meat or whenever like I prepare it, like I did, like I squished that little tenderloin in my fingers, it just is not appetizing to me anymore. And now that I'm thinking about it, he asked for rice too. <laughs> I knew I was forgetting something. There it is. Here's my Trader Joe's organic peppermint herbal tea. Oh, I feel bad for the rice because it's not going <laughs> to... Maybe I'll just make it on the stove. Like usually I have a rice cooker and that takes like 40 minutes. Like it takes a very long time. And I think, isn't rice supposed to be easy to make on the stove? He's already out of practice and like headed home. Um, yeah, no, that says 45 minutes. Okay, this one says 20. Okay, I'm gonna do this. One cup rice. Two cups water. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it quick. Okay, I'll talk to you later. I didn't know I had this task. <laughs> Surprise, it's the next morning. I'm gonna start an actual like vlogmas for this day, Wednesday too, but just like, I don't know, an update on why the night ended so abruptly. Number one, I think last time we chatted, I was worried about making rice. I did make the rice, it got done, it was great. Zach got home from practice, it was like six probably, got home a little bit late. He was like, do you wanna get dressed up and go to the pregames for Simi? And I was like, okay, guess we'll just like 180 the plans. And so spent like 10 minutes doing full face and makeup, literally just brushing my hair, doing nothing else to it and putting on a dress and then we left. And I left 
left my phone here. So I didn't even take any video at all because I was chaotic as we were leaving, as you can imagine. And I left my phone here, but I'll insert a little picture. Our only pictures are kind of bad, but I'll insert them so you can see them. It was a fun night. It was whatever. Got home probably like 9.45, went to bed at 11. So it was a good time. Would have been great if I had taken any single video, but like I said, I left my phone here. And so there was, there was nothing except those pictures I inserted for you, but <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this vlog. I'm literally, as soon as I press stop record on this one, going to start for the next day. So I'll see you tomorrow and I love you.